Well, a ship due to transport aid from Cyprus to Gaza has been delayed. The Spanish vessel is planning to transport around 200,000 kilos of food to the Gaza Strip, where the United Nations estimates a quarter of the population faces starvation. The final preparations to get the ship ready to sail for Gaza were taking place today. Hundreds of tonnes have been loaded on board, rice, flour and protein. If this first aid mission goes well, then Larnaca port could become an aid hub for ships over the coming weeks, naval and civilian. World Central Kitchen, the US humanitarian organisation that is providing the aid, told us that the more food that gets in, the better the security on the ground in Gaza will become. We know that this can't be the only ship, right? We need to have second ship lined up, third ship lined up, which we do. The more food we can get into there, into, into Gaza, um, the more safe, the more secure it is, the more orderly it is. But until we see more, more flow, it, it will continue to be um, a bit of a security concern. Separately, an American military ship, the USS Frank Besson, has now left Virginia on the U.S. east coast. It will take a few weeks to reach the region, and American military officials think that their floating pier in Gaza could be up and running in about 60 days' time. This will be a multi-organisational effort with other militaries, possibly the British, also involved. The idea for a maritime corridor starting in Cyprus was made towards the end of last year, and so they've had months to prepare, and that's included putting in high-tech scanners so the Israelis can check all the aid that has been loaded onto ships. But whilst the starting point here is now ready, where the ships will dock in Gaza, well, that is far from certain and fraught with a lot of technical difficulty. As the humanitarian crisis worsens inside Gaza and with hopes of a ceasefire before Ramadan surely all but gone now, President Biden is becoming increasingly frank with his Israeli allies and his irritation with Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is no longer kept private. He must pay more attention to the innocent lives being lost as a consequence of the actions taken. He's hurting, in my view, he's hurting Israel more than helping Israel by making the rest of the world. It's contrary to what Israel stands for. And I think it's a big mistake. So I want to see a ceasefire. Tonight, the ship remains in Larnaca port, waiting for a weather window and the security clearance before it can leave. It won't go, we're told, before tomorrow. Alistair Bunkle, Sky News in Larnaca, Cyprus.